All right. I am quite loud. Uh, it looks like we've all pretty well settled in, so I think I will get started unless someone knows that someone else is coming. Okay. So, oh, I've lost color again. We have a slight connection problem here. I haven't lost color really. There we go. All right, so uh, thank you all for coming today. Uh, I am from the San Francisco Bay Area, so I am plus 12, 30 hours. If I happen to fall asleep on stage, please come and poke me with a stick. Um, my talk today is fault tolerance on the cheap, making systems that probably won't fall over. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, so my particular deal is I'm a software engineer, uh, and I, I do things to and with computers. That's uh, kind of the... Uh, focus of my research when I was an undergraduate, and that is my professional focus as well. Um, in particular, I am a real-time networked systems engineer. Um, so that's sort of a long jargony string to describe what it is that I do, and I'll, I'll break that down. So real-time systems. Um, these are, this is the, the older form of real-time systems. Now when you hear people talk about real-time systems, they say, oh yeah, you know, um, we deal with stuff as it comes in, and then we get a result back out. That's, that's, in the literature, that's something called online systems, meaning that they don't batch, they just deal with things as they arrive. Properly, though, uh, a real-time system is one in which computation occurs on a deadline. So you have some sort of computation, and implicit or explicit to that computation, you have a time frame that it has to be completed in. Um, the, a good example of something like this is uh, a fail-safe, fail-operational system. Um, fail-safe mean, means that when your system ultimately does fail, it doesn't uh, catch fire or spew radiation everywhere. Uh, a fail-operational system, like Chernobyl, is one in which when it does fail, it spews out radiation everywhere. Um, so uh, a real-time system, Jesus Christ, this thing is loud. Um, a real-time system is, uh, a good example would be, say, a cooling sensor or a, a temperature cooling feedback system inside of a large uh, nuclear power plant or the uh, fly-by-wire control inside of an aircraft or uh, if you have a, if anyone here has a, a, a pacemaker in their heart, that is a real-time system. Um, it can't miss the deadline. So uh, other types of real-time systems, they have guaranteed responses. So by a certain deadline, you will have gotten a response or their best effort, meaning that, you know, we missed the deadline, sorry about that. Uh, we tried real hard. Um, clearly, some things are more important than others, so you have to guarantee response or, or not. Um, and then you have resource adequate and inadequate systems. So a resource adequate